The UN's Climate Change Conference, which finishes on Friday, was not attended by Her Majesty, but she gave a heartfelt speech by video message in which she praised Prince Charles and Prince William for their environmental work. However, the 95-year-old monarch failed to mention Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who have also campaigned on the issue over the years. Meanwhile, the Duke of Sussex, 37, yesterday appealed for more to be done to regulate misinformation on the internet, as he opened up on his own personal experiences. Appearing on a panel, titled The Internet Lie Machine, Harry said misinformation is a global humanitarian crisis. He said, I lost my mother to this self-manufactured rabidness. Harry claimed he had warned Twitter CEO, Jack Dorsey, about the U.S. Capitol Hill riots the day before they happened. He said, I warned Jack that a coup was being staged the day before, January 5, and I haven't heard from him since. The panel, held virtually as part of Wired Magazine's Rewired Conference, is part of a busy week for the Duke. He will today head to New York to present the inaugural Intrepid Valor Awards to five service members, veterans and military families, living with the invisible wounds of war. It is a cause particularly close to Harry's heart, having served two tours of Afghanistan during a decade spent in the army. Harry and his Meghan have been fighting a different battle in recent weeks. They both have a long-standing commitment to fighting climate change, and last week pledged that their Archwell Foundation would reach net zero carbon emissions by 2030. The Mirror's royal editor Russell Myers told, Pod Save the Queen, that the Sussex's target is quite laudable. Harry and Meghan acknowledged their use of transport, among other things, and announced in a statement on their Archwell Foundation's website that they are making choices to offset and balance this carbon footprint. Mr. Myers said it was no coincidence that the statement was released just as the Queen spoke of her pride at both Prince Charles and Prince William on their own climate change actions. The monarch did not mention Harry or any other members of the royal family. Mr. Myers said, it's probably no coincidence that it came the day that the Queen had made a speech talking of her pride of both Charles and William and then not mentioning Harry or any of the other family members. So, I'm sure that did burn a little bit, and that's why they maybe felt that it was a good idea to put this statement out, but, again, it's a laudable project, let's see how they get to it. We still don't really know what Archwell, it's still in its infancy, obviously we've seen them pop up here and there, but it's a fledgling business, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens over the coming years. Harry and Meghan mentioned that Archwell is a young company, in their statement. Mr. Myers praised the statement as a good idea, for making it more accessible to the man and woman on the street. He continued, how you can adapt your behavior, less use of plastics, less use of fossil fuels in your daily life, or even just not eating meat. That's what Prince Charles does. He doesn't eat meat a couple of days a week. That is a tangible difference that everyone can get involved with on quite a small level, but will make a difference. Charles warned at the COP26 summit that world leaders have a dangerously narrow window of opportunity to avoid a climate catastrophe. Despite pledges made at the summit, new analysis shows the world is nowhere near its goals on limiting temperature rise. A report by Climate Action Tracker calculated that the world is heading for two, four of warming, significantly more. Five global leaders had committed to. Prime Minister Boris Johnson is returning to the summit today in a desperate bid to kickstart faltering negotiations. He was due to appear at the end of the week but has brought his plans forward to spur ambitious action. The move comes as the Met Office warned that a billion people could be affected by fatal heat and humidity if global temperatures reach two above pre-industrial levels. To subscribe to Pod Save the Queen go to your normal podcast provider.